I'm sorry it took me so long to get here, boys, but I had to extricate myself from Manolo back in St. Bart's. And when I say that, I mean that literally. The man was an animal. <laughs> Bless his heart. But I did not leave him alone in a hot tub just so I could come back and hear my client use the C word. Confess. Not gonna happen. Never gonna happen, AJ. Let me to demonstrate. Michael, what are the only words one should ever say to any member of law enforcement, either before or after one has been read one's Miranda rights? I'm not saying anything without my attorney. And why is this so important? Because anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. So the less you say, the less there is for your attorney to get declared inadmissible. Like you sprang from my own loins. I'm so proud of you. You hear that, AJ? No confessing to anything ever. I understand that, but I remember taking the gun out of the safe. Right. And the police assume the same thing. But my sources tell me that, yes, Detective Falconeri did go to the Quartermain mansion and, yes, discovered that a gun registered to Tracy Quartermain was indeed missing from the safe. Now, there is no proof that that is the same gun that was used to kill Connie Falconeri. And if it is, there's no proof that you're the one that took it, AJ. It's the same caliber as the one used to kill Connie. Right. Diane, I remember taking it out of the... I remember taking it out of the safe. But do you remember killing Connie? I, I can't believe that the police think that it was Michael's father who did this. Poor Michael. What do you mean, poor Michael? What about my dad? Okay, AJ killed his girlfriend. I gotta go see him. Do you want me to go with you? No, thanks. I, my dad's not gonna want a lot of people around right now. Okay, okay then I'm probably gonna go to Franco's to, at the hospital to visit him. Oh, Kiki, must you? Yeah, actually, I must, because he's still suffering from what my mother did to him. You know, the 20-plus years of being lied to. Well, that's that's sort of you to worry about him, then. Yeah. Um, please tell your father how sorry I am about his girlfriend. Yeah, oh. Goodbye, Kiki. And thanks, uh, Ava, for letting us know what happened. If you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna get you. Not so fast. I do appreciate your desire to comfort your grieving father. But your new mother-in-law... I'd like to have a little chat. Sonny found Connie. Oh, that is so horrible. Yeah, he was gone by the time the uniforms reached the scene. He went to find AJ. Oh, that's not good. No, it got ugly, and it was going to get even uglier if Michael hadn't talked him down. Wait, you know this how? I was there to take AJ into custody, which I did. <sighs> but Sonny, I mean, you should have seen him. He, he was... He was completely wrecked. I was working for Kate, um, for Connie, the first time that she and Sonny got engaged, the first time that she got shot. Mm. And this, this is, it's like, it's so sad. Connie was this, she seemed so glamorous on the surface, and underneath there was all this pain. She just had such a short, hard life. But you said that there was a press blackout. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Maxie knows? I am so glad you're going to breastfeed your little girl. It really is the best for the baby. I'm sure your doctor spoke to you about it. Don't be nervous. It's the most natural thing in the world. Um, how will I know if I'm doing it right? What if I can't do it? You can do it. You're her mother, aren't you? Yes, I'm her mother. Maxie, what are you doing? Are you the father? Um, let's just get her back in her crib, yeah? Spinelli, wait, I, I can explain. Um. Uh, um, she, uh, she shouldn't be out of her bed. You need, you need rest, okay? Um, Come on, I'll get you back to your room. What about the baby? No. No, no, what you just said about me not being the father, that's just not true. You're just lying again. How can you say that? <laughs> what do you mean, how can I say that? Is that shocking to you that I would think you're lying? That's all you do. It's you lie. Exactly, that is my point, Patrick. I lied when I told you you were the right, father of the baby. but now you're telling the truth when I decide that I'm gonna take sole custody of our child, all of a sudden it's not mine? You've been on me since day one doubting me.
thinking this was your baby. I mean, S Sabrina and Felix practically made it a holy cause trying to prove you weren't the father. Congratulations. You were right. Yeah, well, of course, All I along. questioned whether the baby was mine, but that was before the paternity test, which proved that I was the father, right? So what do you say about that? <laughs>